Hi guys, welcome to our next lecture on on page SEO. In this, we will learn the new strategy that is text format. Under that, we have six different techniques to work on it. So, first technique is bold. So, bold, what exactly it is? Bold is marking your characters, make it more highlighted. So, make it more important. So, use this option very wisely whenever you are making any keyword or any word highlighted it becomes it get the user catch it more as at the same time search engine catch it so whenever you are using this options try to highlight the keywords which are important for your article as well as it is important for your user like in this case do you need assistance in getting your getting started with your social media marketing plan we have not bolded we have bolded the three different important points of my page so it grabs the attention of the user at the same time the search engine also looks for it. so that's why it's very important try to mark it important do not mark all your keywords with it okay make sure that next is italic again this is uh, this is the way to grab the attention of the user. So this is again used to highlight the important keywords, important words of your website like social media marketing plan. So I want my user to grab the attention. So I just mark them italic. That's all. Okay. Or in anywhere you find it, it's important for you. You can mark it highlighted like my institute name. So that's how it is done. Or you can highlight the whole summary with that. Next is block quotes. Block quotes are uh, to highlight the key points in your blog. Okay, use as quotation or marks. So in this blog, we don't have uh, such a quote uh, which is there for us. Okay, so there is some highlighted point or something like that. You can highlight with this quote. It's not necessary to use it very often but it should be there like i can make this article a bit smaller in terms of pa paragraphs so i can mark it as quotes so how to do that it's very simple okay i have marked this as quoted with my black quotes. okay so this is how it is done next is ordered list ordered list is basically whenever you are writing bullet points there is numbering given one two three four or abc that is ordered list that is very important so that google can understand the points similarly user as well second is unordered list where whenever you are writing you do not want to show a lot of points you don't have a lot of points so you do not want to show the numbering so you can make an unordered list like this one this is an unordered list where you do not see any points but if i want i can change it into ordered list so that's up to you again how you want to do it uh, it should make your content readable when you have a lot of points then you should use an ordered list when you have very limited number of points then you should use an ordered list next and a very very important that is headings h1 h2 h3 these are very very important. when we are using the headings it's very important why because google consume these headings as an important part of your article or your web page so like in this if you look at this this is the most important part of my important line of my article so i will mark it as heading so i will mark it as h1 one thing is user grab the attention because the font size become bolder and bigger second is for h as i said for search engine it becomes the soul of that article Similarly, we have H2, H3, and H4, but the most important one is H1. Next is H2. You can do it with these other two. So that is how you mark it at H2. A bit help is required in terms of format. That's all we have in this video. See you in next lecture, guys. Bye.